today we're gonna make chamin. It's the kind of food that cooks all night on low, very low heat on a crock pot. I'm gonna use beans, potatoes, eggs that have already been pre-boiled, some meat, a bone, one onion, and wheat. Inside the pot, I put it on the highest uh, uh, position and I put a little bit of an oil in the bottom, not too much, just to make sure that it won't get too sticky. At that point, I'm gonna take the beans that I also pre-cooked them about 45 minutes to make them soft but not mushy. And I'm gonna put them inside. Then I'm gonna take the wheat and I'm also gonna put that inside. I'm taking boiling water and I'm gonna put all the water up to about that level. If I need more, I'll add more a little later. I'm scared. Don't be. It's hot. At that point, I'm gonna add salt. Okay, I'll shoot it over. Then I'm gonna add black pepper. I like this kind of pepper. And I like the food very, very spicy, so I'm putting large quantities. If it scares anybody, put less. I'm also putting hot paprika. Nice. Also, again, I'm putting very large quantities, but I like the food very, very spicy. And last but not least is this kind of dish. We call it schub, and this is extremely hot peppers that have been boiled to the point that uh, it's hot and the quantity that I'm putting on this one is extreme also That's gonna make the, the, the food kind of Mexican style because it really is an extremely spicy when it works this way. The video doesn't let you see how dark red this is because of the light, but it's extremely dark burgundy. Now at this point, I'm gonna add one bone Looks kind of a cookie monster, but that's what it is. And then I'm going to add some beef. Onion. Potatoes. and eggs that have been already pre-boiled so in case a break, an egg is gonna crack nothing is gonna happen to that dish I don't really need to stir it but I like to make sure that it's kind of even What's good about the crock pot is that it has a clear cover so I can see what I'm doing here and I'm gonna leave it on high 
at this point until tomorrow morning until uh, for the next uh, hour and a half or two until it's gonna boil then I'm gonna take it down and put it on low for the next 12 hours and then it's gonna be ready one thing I forgot to add is honey I'm gonna do that now we don't need a lot something like one teaspoon is gonna be enough even a little bit more and the whole idea of the honey is not really the flavor because we just did this amount of spice nobody's gonna feel the honey it's just gonna mix the food looks really 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 brown when it's ready and it's gonna look better and it's probably gonna taste a little bit better as well but again the honey is just a small quantity for looks and very little bit of flavor this is now two hours after I started to cook on the high position I cover it with something like four towels so the steam is going to stay inside the pot it's starting to boil even on the hottest temperature it takes time for this to boil when I lift it up this is what it looks like I'm gonna wait about another hour in this case and only then I'm gonna put it on the low position if I need to add water I'm gonna add water before I leave it for about 10 more hours and the water should be about the same level as it is right now so if it gets below this I'm gonna add water if not I leave it as it is and it's gonna be now covered again with towels through the night on low this is what it looks like after 12 hours on low cooking as you can see the color is dark brown and it's completely ready this is the final result that it looks like on the plate dark brown cooked very well and very tasty you should try it